Hey everyone, welcome to Durham Store Live. I'm here with the incredible Harry Josh. Hi guys. Thank you for joining us. We're very excited to have you here. Thank you very much. We have an incredible giveaway today. So what we need you to do is ask a question while we're live and you will win the incredible Perfect Waves kit, which is valued at $270. Well, I don't know if they win it just by asking a question. They get put into a lottery of people who ask questions. So just because you ask a question doesn't mean you win it. But <laughs> you, somebody will go home today with a Perfect Waves kit. So for those people who just might be popping in, what is the Perfect Waves kit? What does that exactly entail? Well, if you're Harry Josh, I'm about to show you exactly what the Perfect Waves kit starts with. And that is your trusty curling iron. Um, I've created the world's first, this is true, try to find anywhere else in the world that's got this, the world's first two and one Marcel curling iron. Um, what that means for someone at home is a Marcel tool, which mm -hmm. uh, you've been to the salon, I'm sure lots of women have been to the salon. This basically is a tool that allows hair stylists like myself at a professional level to just seamlessly rotate through the hair and get it to wave. Now, this is an awesome feature that I love very, very much for professional hairdressers. A lot of girls out there say that looks really cool, but there's no way I could do that. Well, for you, you got yourself a two-in-one tool. Voila, it can become a wand. So I'm going to take this wand off, awesome. as a matter of fact, just because I'm just going to because I feel like most girls would be less intimidated waving their hair with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that wand off. There are, in fact, two sizes to the wand. Um, this is a 1.25. And then over here, I've got the one inch, which also can become a convertible and come off as well. So that being said, for everyone who's just wondering what size to get, I know as a fact that most girls, 90% of the girls that I work with or have seen all want big waves. So if you want big waves, what ends up happening is you always want to get this size. And then I'll see someone with super healthy, super clean hair saying, you know, I buy your iron, but it looks so good when you use it, but my hair drops really quickly. The chances are you've gotten the wrong size. So the reason why I made this smaller size is solely for the reason that you have hair that's maybe virgin hair, unprocessed hair, super silky, super soft, never holds a curl no matter how many times you get it done, no matter how much product you put in, that smaller iron is going to give you the big waves you actually want. Now, because over here, her hair has highlights in it already, I know the highlights are gonna help really hold the hair in place, give it really good texture, and basically just be able to stay with her the whole day. So I've left out, I've obviously done three quarters of the head off camera, but I left out uh, both sides here for you guys to kind of see at home exactly how to recreate this. As I'm walking through it, so please ask me questions, um, just so and there's no bad questions and there's no silly questions and I will g answer them with full love and uh, let's begin. All right, so while I'm on this side of the, of the hair, typically I know a lot of videos and a lot of tutorials in the past, including me myself, uh, was always taught to keep the iron uh, like this and just wrap the iron this way. Or if you're on this side, same thing. Now the problem that lies within, you can do that, but if you do every piece like that all the way around your head, it ends up looking like a Farrah Fawcett 70s thing where it all <laughs> just congeals into this big loopy curl. So in order to avoid that, what I like to do Grab my first section of hair, and I'm actually going to hold the iron completely like that. And I'm just going to hold out that little tip there a little bit and just let it go. And you'll see you get a really nice wave pattern. I'm going to follow that exact pattern right above. And I'm taking sections that are about a square inch. A lot of people have millions of questions like, well, how much hair am I supposed to put on my curling iron? And why does my curls look like ringlets and yours look like waves? The amount of hair that you take out in your section is going to dictate what that wave pattern will look like. Mm -hmm. Now she has very, very thick hair, so I'm taking very, very small sections. Um, and I'm just going to, like you can see, hopefully that's sheer enough that you guys can gauge how little of a section that is. It's a square inch. And I'm going to wrap the hair around the iron like I am here. And I'm going to let that drop. And then sometimes with my fingers, I like to pull it just to like, if I feel like it gets too tight. Um, and then I'm going to take a section right behind that. Now. There's two schools of thoughts when it comes to waving hair. You could, in fact, wave all of them identically all the way across, and you can do the same on the other side, and that will give you a beautiful, brushed out, nice, even wave. If you're looking for something with a little more texture, I am going to wrap the hair the opposite direction now. So now when I take this piece out, 
you'll see it goes again. So I'll get a camera close up of this. Can you turn your head face to the left there? So you see this side of the wave is going this way, and this one is going exact opposite. So it's actually pushing it. So what that will do is if I keep flip flopping these waves as I get up, it creates a lot of volume. If I stay in this wave pattern, it'll still look great, but it's going to give us a different finish. Mm -hmm. All right, straight to camera again, please. So we're going to follow on, and now I'm going to go back to doing it the other way. So what I'm technically doing is alternating. I'm doing one one way, one the other way, holding it for a good two to three second count and letting it drop. So Harry, we know you do a lot of people's hair. <laughs> Whose hair have you done like this recently? Uh, well, I use these tools on everyone. Uh, for anyone who's turning in, I have my own line, as if you're watching. Uh, so I use these tools on everyone, but the last two weeks have been awesome. I've been lucky enough to work with Carly Kloss. I've worked with Giselle. I've worked with Kate Bosworth. Um, I've worked with Haley Seinfeld. I've worked with, I don't know, so many people all in the last two weeks. Um, and I have used my stuff on all of them. So um, I know these are the only tools I use. I hope people at home realize that tools are everything to recreating looks you see on your favorite actors, celebrities, uh, musicians. Um, if you don't have the right tools, it's like trying to make a pie without the right ingredients. Uh, you really can't do it. There's, it's often imitated but never duplicated. Uh, tools are an investment for women out there. So we have a question from the audience. Yes. Question coming in from Jessica. And okay. Jessica asks, how do you create the perfect wave with the big one? The big one I'm guessing she's referring to. This one, yeah. Idea. I just bought it and I'm finding it difficult to use. All right, Jess, well, hopefully you're watching because this is crucial for you to see. This is the size you bought. This is the larger size of the iron. This is the one you're speaking of. And as you can see, I'm going to start to wave her hair. The size of sectioning is important. That's a small section. I'm going to wrap my hair around that, hold it for like a two second count because her hair can basically hold that. If you have hair that does not hold well, by all means, hold the, the iron for longer. Anywhere between three and six seconds should be able to give you the wave pattern you're looking for. If you are having problems with the curling iron and you're getting, perhaps you're taking too big a section. Often I see girls who are in a rush and they take giant sections of hair because they want to do it. But no matter how that. good, you do that too. <laughs> I do that so what ends up that. happening, you take giant sections. If you have naturally wavy hair, not that big of a deal. But if you have stick straight hair and you're trying to get a bend in it, when you take giant sections, what ends up happening is it looks really great, but somehow by the time you get to work, it looks like one giant yeah. loop curl <laughs> because somehow it's all congealed into one huge ringlet, and that is not cool. So what you really want to do is make sure as you're doing it, so as I'm doing it, I'm just shaking it out. I'm looking to see where it's falling and seeing that it's, I'm getting a really nice kind of soft, loose mm -hmm. wave pattern. I'm going to go up again and keep working on this. And if you, since you had that question, if there's anything specific that I'm doing that you'd be curious about, by all means, please do let me know because uh, definitely there is nothing more frustrating than getting the perfect tool, watching it, and not understanding what you're doing at home wrong. So another thing I will give a, a, as a great tip for a lot of people mm -hmm. is what they did not see me do is prep her hair with product. Product is key. So I know you're tuning in, you're watching, and her hair is dry, but in order to get it to this dry, if you don't have enough product in your hair, you're really not going to get the end result you're looking for. So for me, mousse is my favorite thing. You really can like, you know, go to like a drugstore, get the John Farida Frizzies mousse. I love it. It's like under 10 bucks. Super, super great. Super easy to use. Use it on wet hair. Use it on dry hair. Basically, you just need something underneath the hair that's going to help those waves really hold and give it some really great texture. Finishing products we're going to talk about as well after we're done waving the hair that are really going to take the waves to another level. What people might be seeing me doing right now is as after I wave the hair, I'm just using this to help straighten it out and give me that kind of an end. This is the kind of end that people really like to see. Yeah. Harry, and in addition to product though, what about sectioning off my hair to make it yeah, that, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So you know, let's go back to this perfect waving kit. There's a reason we started with that and we got sidetracked. But listen, the perfect waving kit. There's a reason why I decided to make it a kit. All right, because everything that I need. So if I had uh, a, a person sitting in my chair, the things that I need to make this look as perfect as this is going to look at the end are a couple of things. I will need a curling iron. So whether it be a larger one or the smaller one, either one, I will need a sectioning tail comb, very crucial for creating clean lines and clean, clean parts. And lastly, I'll need rubberized clips that can hold and section my hair out of the way. 
If you're waving your hair at home, I know a lot of girls, I'm gonna step over here for a second, I know a lot of girls that uh, if I ask them, they're like, I don't use clips to section my hair. I'm like, what do you do? They do this. They literally flip their hair <laughs> over and they just go like that and then they flip it back over and they grab another piece. Now, if you have naturally wavy hair that has, is conducive to that, that's gonna work great. But if you don't have that and you've got straight hair, like she does here, you're really gonna have to be systematic about the way you make your sections so that when you do shake it all out, it does make sense and connect all together. Um, carrying back on, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this and put this back onto Marcel mode. You've seen me do almost all of the, the last, at least four rows like that. So just for people at home, we're like, well, what's the point of having that if I can just buy a wand? There is a purpose for that and we're gonna show everyone right now. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna take a section of hair we're gonna do exactly what we did before, which is technically not use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap the hair around, not even use this little bonus feature that's been given, and you're gonna see when the bonus feature kicks in. All right, so I'll do my three second count, pull it out. Now, get a close up here, everybody. This is the money. I'm going to press on this, and I'm gonna slide it out. And that is money. <laughs> that's exactly what you want your end to look like. You don't want it to be a ringlet. You don't want it to be stick straight, which I see a lot of girls who say, oh, you just hold, to hold your hands out. You don't <laughs> want that. And the only way to get that is this type of an iron. So you're really just pressing it smooth into a really soft finish. So I know a lot of girls out there who have wavy hair say, well, I just wrap my hair and I just leave it straight and I don't need this. It's not the truth. You'll <laughs> kind of get a look that looks like this, but if you really want the money, you need this. All right, so that's something, there's a reason for the Marcel that is that. There's another way to work the Marcel that a lot of people don't even realize. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ruin your curl for a second just for a okay. safe example. So my mom is uh, some, a woman of the 60s. She loved that era, she loves that <laughs> hair. She, who is not a hairdresser, uh, is very well versed on using this type of clamp. She has a spring at home, which is just like a little pop spring thing. Yeah. But what she likes about this iron, and she uses it in a very unique way, she does this, she holds onto the bottom, and she literally rolls, oops, there we go, grab that in there. So healthy your hair. And she rolls it in. And she just rolls it in and she just holds it like that. Totally different wave pattern. But what this gives when I take it out is a really bouncy curl. So if you want that kind of look, you can use the Marcel simply for that. So it's a two in one tool. So if you don't want, if you want to have like a nice, full, bouncy, sexy blow dry, okay. and you just want the ends to have more movement, just clamping and rolling it up halfway and taking it out is gonna be able to do that. But since we're not going for that look and we're going for cool beachy waves, we're gonna go back to our traditional wrap, which what we're doing right here. I'm gonna hold it a little longer here cause I gotta take out the old wave that I just put in there. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna voila, just stretch those ends into that perfect type of end, which everyone wants. I'm gonna work. Right, we've got a few more questions. Please, questions end. away. So, thank you for the opportunity. This is from Lydia. Okay. What's an easy way to work with the tools for the back of your head? Ah. And then make it even? Yes, yeah. that is definitely good not question. the easy. It's a great question and it's not gonna be an easy answer. All right, so that's regardless of this tool, any tool, doesn't matter what, what you're buying, where you work, in the back of your head is always gonna be hard. What I recommend doing for anyone like that is honestly to invest in a three-way mirror. They're really awesome <laughs> to have. They're fold out so they don't have to be stationed in your house. You can get a cheap one at like, you know, go online, look at Amazon, and it's like a trifold, and you literally just back it up and put it on your counter. And as you're doing, you can actually see the back of your head fully. So that being said, when you're trying to wave your hair at the back of your head, there's no way you're gonna see it perfectly unless you have a three-way mirror. So if you don't have a three-way mirror, what I recommend doing is this. After you have waved this whole section, which I'm mm -hmm. almost there. Actually, am I there? No. So yeah, that is my last piece. So I can actually clip this out of the way. You get these awesome rubberized clips as part of the Perfect Waves kit. So here's another purpose for them. So once this is out of the way, let's, I've already waved the back, but now let's just say the back is not curled. So now I have this part that's straight. Mm -hmm. Now that I've put this hair out of the way, what I'm gonna do is start to being organized and grab a chunk of hair from here mm -hmm. and I'm going to tip my head down while this is up. This is gonna be up in a bun, don't forget. So that's up in a bun because you've already waved that. You're yeah. gonna get that piece from underneath here and you're gonna wrap it. I'm gonna stand in front of you over here. And you're yeah. gonna wrap it. <laughs> and you're gonna wrap from here and then you're gonna do the next section and you're gonna wrap it from underneath. They'll never be mm. perfect and that is okay. No one expects you to do a flawless job, but as long as there's texture in the back, 
that will blend it enough and you'll look great and presentable to go out there. So try that tip at home, I think it'll make a big difference for you. So do you recommend doing the front before you touch the back or starting with the back and then working forward? I always say do the front first because if you're running late, the last thing you want to do is the back of your head and not be pretty around your face. So definitely okay. you want to do the front of your face first and <laughs> then do the back. Point. Yeah. <laughs> So Susan was wondering, she goes, would love to find something that works on my mega thick hair. So is the, are these tools? Mega thick hair. Mega Susan, thick hair. do you know who I'm working on here? <laughs> this is the thickest head of hair ever. Um, again, here are those perfect you. ends from Marcel's. Yes, of course. Uh, thick hair is, is it, you should be, A, you're lucky. You're blessed if you've got thick hair. Wonderful for you to have that. Um, but truly, thick hair, this is, this is anything in my line, whether it's a dry or the brush. You also, by the way, get this lovely oval brush, which is the ultimate um, for really just kind of getting through knots, getting through tangles, brushing, blow drying. It's like the most multi-purpose oval premium brush and it is awesome. So if you have really thick hair, so whether you're trying to blow your hair out for you at home who's got incredibly thick hair and they're like, oh, I could never, I'd melt all my bristles. This combination of doing this on really thick hair works so well, so well. And so definitely thickness is definitely not an issue. Um, if I could even spin you around, you'll see how much hair. It's not even over, Susan, for me to show you, but this is like, look at the size of that ponytail. That is a <laughs> lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. That's like a big elastic band. So, <laughs> fear not. Your hair will be wonderful, whether it's wavy, fine, medium texture. The line is designed to work on everyone. We've got a ton of questions. Oh, about sorry, okay, keep going, keep we'll going. going. So, did it, well, did I have to put this one. Deneen says, does he come with the tools? Ah, <laughs> well, tell you what, close enough. If you tune in constantly to Durham Store on Facebook, Harry Josh, um, dot com, Harry Josh on my social channels, uh, Derm Store on their social channels, um, you'll always get content. So if, even if I'm not there, I'll be there in spirit. From Christy, she says, I never knew what kind of brush to use. So you were talking about having multiple brushes as well. Do you want to run through? Some yes. Of brushes oh my God, for sure. I'm going to put this clip back. This is real. I'm. Thank you. These questions are awesome. By the way, um, there is multiple purposes of brushes. And uh, if any of you guys didn't know, I was in Oprah's favorite things this month, uh, and her brushes. She's her team and her are obsessed with my brushes. Not only because they look very cute, which I will show all of you guys at home what they look like. Um, but most importantly, their purposes. So a lot of people that have brushes be like, well, why does he have 10 brushes? Isn't he a good hairdresser? Doesn't he know how to figure it out? It's not about that. Each brush has its own purpose. I'm gonna put them down. I'm gonna talk about each one individually. So that being said, I'm gonna start with our square wooden paddle brush. Um, this brush is designed to detangle monster thick hair. So if you've got really, really thick hair and it knots up a lot, these bristles are incredibly strong. The nobules on the top are actually very massaging. So if you've got thick hair and you want, like for her, if she wants to like rake through her hair at the end of the day or something you want to put even next to your bedside, this is a wonderful brush. It has massaging nobules on the top of it. Great for detangling and also good for blow drying. You wouldn't get a really finished blow dry because it's not really a blow drying tool, but if you're just one of those girls who doesn't round brush their hair, they just need to get it dry quickly so they can get in the car and go to work, this is gonna be a great brush for you. So that is this brush. Now, on the flip side of detangling brushes, this little brush is a detangling brush for very fine hair, ideally. Mm -hmm. It's a wet brush that's designed to be in the shower or coming out of the shower. Mm -hmm. It's rubberized, so it allows the water to get into it. And the, all these that move, you can see a little close up if you can, these are pliable. And why that matters, if you've got baby fine hair, you don't want bristles this strong because these don't move very much. And what these make it so hard that it's gonna rip all the hair out. Because these are so flexible and because it can be wet, while you condition your hair, just kind of take out the knots gently. Uh, I have plenty of fans that are obsessed with this brush, Kate Bosworth, Carly Kloss, uh, they all love it. So it's a, it's a great brush for fine detangling hair. Now, round brush. This is a styling brush. This serves a purpose. This round brush would mock what I just showed everyone a few minutes ago with the curling iron, me taking that big Marcel iron and just wrapping it up halfway and pulling it out and giving you that bouncy finish. If you're not a curling iron person and you're more crafted with a dryer and a brush, then by all means, round brush, heat, mm -hmm. and cold shot. So a lot of people don't know what this cold shot does. Everyone's like, well, every dryer has one. What's unique about my personal cold shot for this dryer that I've created, that it's a true true cold shot. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when you have a cold shot on a dryer, when you press it, it removes heat. So it goes from very hot 
to lukewarm, and that's supposed to set it. Now my dryer, truly, when you put, press the cold button, it goes very cold. Why is that important to you? If you want one of those sexy, big hair blow dries, I did the cover of Vogue uh, with Giselle for January, maybe this year, and she has this huge, big, bodacious yeah. blow dry. Check out my Instagram, you can see it there. Um, and that was done with these two tools. That's it, no curling iron, no nothing. It's literally round brush, hold it up, lots of product, hold it up, hold it up, hot air, cold air. When you let go, you got movement like you've never seen. The bristles are strong, they detangle, and they really hold. Lastly, Harry, yes, on the round brushes, so yeah. you offer three different sizes on those? Yes. Which size do you recommend? For me personally, as a hairdresser, I always like the smallest brush the best. For me, I have more control over it. I have friends and colleagues, mm -hmm. and they prefer larger ones. So really, when it comes to size, if you're looking to create more of a movement, the smaller you go, the more of a wave or bend you're gonna get, mm -hmm. and the larger you go is the more straight you're gonna get. So if you're someone who's gonna get the larger size of the three, and all you really want is just a smooth, big blowout with not much bend, that's the way to go. If you wanna really see a lot of bend in the hair, smaller is the way to go. Awesome. Lastly, these are the last two brushes up that we're going to talk about. This is the premium oval brush and this is the junior oval brush. They're the exactly the same thing, just a small pocket one for the purse to be able to put in your bag on your way to work or whatever and just kind of detangle. And then this is your mother load one that you keep at home for everything. So when people talk about when to use a brush after waving hair, I have one tiny section left up here. Let me do this on air and then we're going to get back to the brushes. So now when it comes to the other side of the head, you saw me wrapping the hair all going this way. Now we're gonna reverse the pattern so that it mirrors for this side. So now I'm gonna take a section of hair and I'm going to pick up my iron and stick the same size. I'm not gonna bother taking off this contraption because we'll just pretend that everyone loves to use it because I certainly do. We're gonna wrap the hair around the iron. I'm gonna hold it for that three second count. And then like magic, here comes a close up. Boom, boom, boom. Press out that and get that awesome, smooth end that looks like that. I mean, that's what everybody wants. That's what everybody wants, and that is not gonna come from you not being able to just press with a little bit of a, the Marcel on the bottom. Almost finishing up on the hair here. A Couple of more sections again. I'm just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna wrap the hair around the iron, and you'll notice that the tail of my hair is closer to her forehead this time. So. When I meant by reversing it, I'm doing my Marcel feature back here, just in the bottom. Amazing, just blending that all in. So when I wrap this, like I said, I ended up with the tail here. However, we're gonna go backwards. When I did it on this side, let's pick up a section of hair, I did it and I wrapped the tail in the back. So what this does, let's pull it out a little bit, is it changes the mirror image of it. So one way I'm going this way and ending up with the tail in the back, on this side, I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm starting in the back of the iron and I'm ending up in the front of the iron. And that's what's really gonna make balanced waves on both sides. Again, if I didn't wanna use the Marcel feature, like I said, and I want that straight end, I can kinda of pull it and do this, but you know, you get this in it for free anyways, why not use it? And just stretch it out. And that's how you get those great ends. Last piece, here we go. Okay, and again, for people who just want to see the Marcel mm -hmm. or the wand, here's the wand doing it the same thing without using the Marcel clamp. And then just at the end, because I can't help myself, I love the Marcel, <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna let that drop and cool for a split second. We are not done. We're, oh, we have a question, yes. Plenty of questions coming in. Okay. So Jessica wants to know, why do you wrap the head down instead of up? Well, that's just a technique. So you could technically wrap it downwards. It will give you a little bit of a different shape. There's really not a right or wrong way. Experimenting is gonna be everything. So it's gonna be about speed. It's gonna be about what you're comfortable with. But if you really wanna have this end result, which we're, I don't even know, I don't have a mirror, so I don't know what this looks like, but I'm hoping it looks good. Yes, that's looking quite good. Um, if you wanna have this kind of end result, you really need to follow the steps that I just gave you so that you're able to really emulate exactly what it is that I did. Question coming in from Janelle. Does this work better on next day hair? Ooh, Janelle, you are my kind of woman. I love <laughs> slept on dirty bedhead hair. It's awesome. It does not work on every texture. If you've got baby fine hair or hair that produces a lot of natural oils, 
you tend to be that kind of girl who has to wash it every morning and is going to have to go through some kind of rigmarole mm -hmm. to get it to do this. Now, I happen to know her hair very well, and she is one of those <laughs> lucky girls that literally, as she sleeps on it, it just gets better and better and better. So the key is how to really rock second day, third day hair is spending a lot of time on it, doing it well the first time. So I always recommend if you don't have the time in the morning, wash your hair at night blow dry it or let it air dry even mm -hmm. while you're watching TV, having dinner, whatever. And then right before you go to bed, that's when you just spent 30 minutes waving the hair. And you may be like, 30 minutes before I'm going to bed, it's going to take me forever. I have no patience for that. But when you get compliments for the next three days straight, you haven't picked up your tool, <laughs> you're going to know that that was really effective. So definitely something to think about. What about on short hair? Christina was wondering, would this work on short hair? It will, absolutely. It'll work on any length of hair that the roller can wrap around it. Obviously, it becomes trickier if you've got very, very short hair because you have to be able to get the hair long enough to wrap around the wand. Mm -hmm. But anything from like a bob and downwards, absolutely, you, you know, it's totally usable to use an iron. But if you don't have hair longer than a bob and it's shorter than a bob, then, you know, definitely if you want to have a little bit of texture, the brushes are going to be a lot better for you using a small round brush and holding it with the nozzle mm -hmm. is going to help you give you a lot more of interesting shapes. And we've got one last question to finish up on. If you did it for longer than three seconds, would it damage the hair? No. What will happen is you won't necessarily damage the hair. The crucial part is this. If you have processed hair, blonde hair, platinum hair, hair that uh, is colored, processed, dry, has texture, you don't even need to hold the iron for three seconds because it's going to make a ringlet. That kind of hair holds so well that you literally just have to tap the iron so fast and just let it drop. When I work with girls that are blonde or bleach blonde, like if I'm doing Victoria's Secret and I've got a blonde, I literally have to hold the hair for like a split second because the iron does all the work. Long story short, if you held it really long on bleached hair, not the best idea, but you'll notice with my tools, you'll never have to. Awesome. All right, we're almost done, but I want to do one more shake-up thing here. I know we're live and that's not fun, but what I want to do for everyone at home, so you guys to know, how to get it to a great texture. I love, 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 love something to make it really wild and big. So I love this Serge Vermont spray. So good, just shake it up. And what this does is starts to create nice lift in the hair. Get this at dermstore.com as well. Mm -hmm. Dermstore.com for all this stuff because it's all there. And what I like to do is I like to just spray it and just make it really wild and really <laughs> big. Kind of, I don't have a mirror, so I don't know what this looks like, but I'm sure it looks <laughs> awesome. So. Yeah, and there you go. Good. Yeah, and that's how you get I love it. just like awesome, sexy, cool hair. So hopefully you guys will get your Perfect Waves kit. One of you guys is getting them. I know one of you. So <laughs> tell them what they need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone that participated and followed along while we got the Perfect Waves kit um, and demonstrated that today. So have a fabulous day, and thank you for joining us.